Well, it happened. I cannot believe it. I found my first piece of gold ever with a metal detector. I'm Wilderness Eric. Welcome to my channel. So I'm not gold sniping today. I'm actually gonna do some metal detecting. Last time I went gold sniping, I had an amazing day, but I got really cold and we're kind of having a cold snap right now. So I'm waiting for some new snorkeling gear to arrive. And that's gonna be here next week, I think. So today I'm gonna do something I've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is metal detect the inside bend on the river right here. So I've already spent, if you've been watching my videos, I've already metal detected here on this side of the river in this bedrock. I've been finding nuggets down in there, not metal detecting, but gold panning and uh, digging in the cracks. I've been finding nuggets there, but I haven't found anything yet with my metal detector. I've actually never found gold with my metal detector. So hopefully today's the day. I have been dying to get over to that side of the river. There's some awesome bedrock right in there. And you can see the river comes around here like this. And this is an inside bend. So I'm thinking that stuff is dropping out here. I'm gonna get over there with my metal detector and hopefully I will find something with my detector for the first time ever. Let's get cracking. So my metal detector is actually not waterproof. And if I get it in the water, it's ruined. I found a place in the river where I'm gonna to try to cross. Those rocks are slippery as snot. So hopefully I can get across without falling in. Normally I would not be able to cross this river, but right now it's at its lowest point. So I think I can get across with my metal detector without falling in. It is a risk, but what fun is life without taking risks? Hope I don't fall in. Here we go. I had to come back across to get my camera. Well, it happened. I cannot believe it. I found my first piece of gold ever with a metal detector. Here it is. I had a faint signal, so unfortunately I didn't get it on camera, but there it is, right there. I had a faint signal right here so I popped this piece of bedrock out and sure enough there's a piece of gold right there. <laughs> that is my first ever piece of metal detecting gold. How cool is that? Hopefully first of many. Woohoo! Okay, because that was actually gold, I'm gonna get this on video in case there's something else in here. Because that was a tiny piece and I think the signal was a bit stronger than that. It seemed stronger than that little piece. So let's see what we get here. Oh, there's a flake right there is a flake of gold. We'll get that in the pan. There's another crack oh, right here. Of course, because I have the camera rolling, I won't find a piece. Guarantee there's gonna be some flakes in that pan. All right, I'm gonna dig up this material and put it in the pan, we'll pan it out. Okay, as I was cleaning this out, I found a third piece. This is just a little tiny flake. Not metal detected, but it was in there. So I think this stuff is gonna have a lot of stuff in it. Okay, I'm close to where I found that first piece. 
and I have a good signal right in here. So I'm hoping that it's another nugget and that I'll actually get this one on film. I don't see anything. All right, I'm gonna have to dig this material out and pan it out and see what I can find. Well, as I was scraping the dirt off of this rock into the pan, that showed up. So yes, that was a signal of another nugget. That is my second official piece of gold I found with a de detector. Actually, that's more like a flake, not a nugget. But still, nice another piece of gold. All right, this is awesome. As I'm clearing out this material, I look on the side here and I see another piece of gold right there. Embedded between where it was sitting between the rock. There's a lot of gold on this side of the river. Okay, I got a really good signal right in here and a couple small signals right in there on this crumbly piece of bedrock so I'm gonna break it up and see what I can find here. Oh, it's an ant nest. That's gonna be fun. The ants are guarding the gold. I don't see anything right away. Alright I'm not seeing anything jump out at me so I'm gonna detect some more. Surprise, surprise, that one was a nail. That's my first piece of trash for the day. There's probably flakes in here, so I'm gonna put it in the pan. And as I'm scraping the dirt off the bedrock here, I found another piece right here. It's a good sized flake. This bedrock is loaded with gold. Okay, the pan is somewhat full, so I'm going to go ahead and pan this out and see what I get. Alright, I'm down to the last heavies in the pan. That was really difficult to pan out because there is a lot of black sand in here, so I really needed a pan that had smaller riffles in this one. But let's see what we got here. There's some stuff sticking out the top. Man, there's just so much stuff in here. This pan was really hard to pan out. If I can bring some of this heavy stuff, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there's a huge nugget. Oh my goodness. How did I miss that? As I was digging the stuff out, I don't know. Oh my goodness, look at that thing. Oh my goodness. That is one of the biggest nuggets I've ever found right there. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. There was a lot of black sand in there, which I knew was a good sign. Look at that beauty. Woohoo! Oh, I can't wait to see what else is in here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Look at those chunks! <laughs> Look at all that gold! That's just from one pan of bedrock crack stuff that I dug up. There's gold everywhere in here. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, I'm gonna have to process this out carefully. Maybe get a uh, pan with some smaller riffles so I don't lose anything. Wow. Wow. That might actually be the biggest piece of gold I've ever found right there. That is a beauty. 
Woohoo! <laughs> this is absolutely bonkers. I spent five minutes metal detecting this bedrock and I found all that gold. I spent all day on that side of the river looking for gold with my metal detector and I didn't find a speck. This spot is absolutely amazing. Look where I've been digging. Here's what I've done so far. I was just calibrating the machine and I didn't even have the camera on yet. I started in this spot here because I got something and I opened up that crack and I didn't see anything in there. So I came over to this spot here and I got a pretty nice signal and I opened up that crack and I found a piece of gold. So I moved down to this spot right here and I opened up that crack and I found a piece of gold. And so I moved to this spot right here and I opened up that crack and I found a piece of gold. Then I panned out what I found in these cracks and I found more gold. This is ridiculous. I've never found any gold with my detector before and in 10 minutes I found five pieces on this bedrock over here. I have a really good feeling about this day. I'm really excited to see what else is in this bedrock. All right, I'm actually getting a little bit of a signal there. I'll dig that up in a minute. But I think I'm... Oh, getting a little bit of a signal there too. So I think there's also a little signal here where I've dug some stuff before and I'm hearing something else in there as well. So I'm gonna finish digging out this dirt. See if I can find anything else in there. Getting a big a bit of a signal there. Also getting a bit of a signal there. All right, I'm gonna dig up these few places and see if I see anything, put the stuff in a pan, and keep going. I just found, yep, another flake of gold. Right there, it's a good size flake. Woohoo! I'm on a roll. Okay, the second pan is full. So I'm gonna go ahead and pan it out and see what I got. Okay, I'm down to the heavies in the second pan. I actually switched to this other pan because there was like half a pan full of black sand and it was really difficult to get through all the stuff with those big riffles. So this, these smaller riffles helped me get rid of some of the black sand and the heavy stuff, but there's still a lot of heavy stuff in there. Let's see what we got. Wow, that's a lot of lead shot. There's a ton of lead in there. 
I'm already seeing some pieces of gold. Let me move some of these. Oh my goodness, look at all that lead shot. Holy moly. I'm definitely on the heavies. Wow. But I've got some good gold in there too. That lead shot is covering my gold. I can't really see it very well. Oh, there's a lot of flakes so far. Shake some of that down. Man, you can see how heavy all this stuff is. It's hard to get the gold separated. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is one pan of material. It is loaded with lead and gold. I can't even get to the gold. There's so much lead here. I'm gonna have to save this stuff, get it out of the river. There is a lot of gold in there. I'm definitely on the gold streak in the heavy zone. Tons and tons of heavy stuff. Wow. Look at all that gold. One pan. No big nuggets this time. But that is a lot of gold. Those bedrock cracks are loaded. All right, I found another spot where I'm getting a good signal. Hasn't been one minute and I'm getting another signal right here in this cracky bedrock. So I'm gonna open it up here if I can and see what I can find. back here and see what I can find. All right, I've pinpointed it down to kind of this area. So I've got my metal detector on here. Uh, whatever it's in is, it's in there. I don't see anything. It must be a piece of trash or a hot rock. Well, I had a really good signal here. It was an iron. And this appears to be some sort of copper piping. I don't know what it is. It's got a little hand turn deal here. Hmm. Check out that awesome bird over on the opposite shore. He's fishing for food. Scratching an itch. All right, I'm getting a bit of signal here. Looks promising. Oh, maybe a little bit of signal there too. Um, I'm gonna start by breaking this off. See if I can find anything. Again, I don't see anything right off. Yeah, there's a piece of gold there. All right, that little piece. It's a nice little chunk. Separated from that chunk here. There we go. Nice. That's what my sixth piece of gold I found today with the metal detector. Wow! I never expected this today. I've never found anything before. And here I go, six pieces of gold with a metal detector. Awesome. Well, it's time for lunch. That was an amazing start to the day. It really kind of cooled down though. I was on a super hot streak to begin with. I think that was luck or something. I happened to hit right on the gold, where the gold line is, I think. And I found a whole bunch of gold to start with, and I haven't found much since then. Um, I looked upriver, 
to kind of poke around on the bedrock and I didn't really get many hits other than hot rocks and then I looked down river a ways and I found a couple more hits there just a couple pieces of trash but I'm gonna concentrate on where I was finding the gold and start really focusing in on that area and I'm gonna dig some of the stuff off the top of the bedrock and pan it out and see what I can find there because that area is super rich As I was pulling this stuff out, I found another little piece of gold, right there. It's a nice little flake. A little bitty piece. Surprised I saw it. And there's another little flake stuck on the bedrock that I was scraping off here. Awesome. Alright, that took a while, but there it is. Mostly separated out. There's still some finds down in there, but it's time to suck it up into the snuffer bottle. And get this to focus here. Tons of gold. Alright, I'm gonna suck up all this lead and black sand and fine gold. Lots of fine gold in that pan. Well, that was an amazing day. Unfortunately, I'm out of time. I only have a partial day today, so I'm gonna head home and weigh this stuff out and see how much I got. Alright, it's time for the tailgate weigh in. I wasn't planning on going today but I just had to because it was a sunny day in winter, so I had to take advantage of that, and I'm glad I went even though I didn't have very much time because I found a lot of gold. All right, I'm gonna empty out the snuffer bottle. I call this snuffer bottle Old Ugly. I've had it for years, and I use it for uh, shore panning. And I, I put the gold that I found with metal detector in a separate vial as I was digging so that I would know what's what. So there's the metal detecting gold, and we'll see how much else I found panning. Just gonna wet the pan down first, as always. Prevents the little gold flakes from floating around. Well, there's a decent amount of gold in there. All right, I'm trying to get the glare off of it here. It's gonna be a bit tricky with one hand. There's a bunch of the lead that I found, and there is the gold. Lots of gold. I was there for about two and a half hours, and all this gold came out of the cracks that I was metal detecting. Lots of fine gold. A lot of good chunks too. So I have the gold separated out and I wanted to show you guys this because there is a ton of really fine gold on this side of the river and I was not seeing that on the other side of the river. Lots of flower gold over there. And there's still a bunch left in the black sand here but I couldn't get it all out. Okay, here's all the gold separated out of the snuffer bottle. Some nice chunky bits in there. Lots of fine gold. And if you guys made it this far in the video, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel so that I can do this more often. If you subscribe, that would be a big help. And also, if you have time, please watch it all the way through. And leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. All right, let's get this weighed out. Uh, before I do, actually, I want to see the weight of these that I found with the metal detector. And I believe that right there is the biggest piece of gold I've ever found. 
So if it's above 0.55 grams, that is officially the biggest piece of gold I've ever found. All right, get the scale ready. Okay, moment of truth. Come on, it's pretty thick. And it's long. I think it's heavier than the last record nugget I found. Yes! 0.626 grams. That is officially the biggest piece of gold that I've ever found right there. And to my surprise, I found it with a metal detector. Not sniping. I am definitely going back there. Okay, I'm going to weigh the rest of these little pieces out. If I can pick them up. These are the other ones I found with the metal detector. They're pretty small. I found seven pieces of gold in total directly with the metal detector today. So not only did I find my first piece of gold, but I found seven started with a bang. All right, I found over three quarters of a gram with the metal detector today. I am really happy about that. I was not really expecting to find, any, find anything, but that is amazing. Okay, let's weigh out the rest of it here and find out the total for the day. One point three six grams. Awesome. That is my two and a half hour total. Those are some nice pieces of gold right there. Really glad I went today. I'm definitely going back there. For those of you that have been watching my videos, here is the one on the top from the shore, from the gold I've been finding on the shore. And the one on the bottom there is the gold I've been finding sniping in the river. So the shore is catching up a little bit today. Before I put the gold in the vial, I want to compare the big nugget I found last time with the big nugget I found this time. So they're very similar in shape and size. The one on the top is the one I found in the river gold sniping last time. I'll leave the link to that video down in the description if you want to see that one. And the one on the bottom is the one I found this time with the metal detector. The one on the top looks almost bigger, but it's not quite as solid or as thick as the one on the bottom there that I found with the metal detector. And you can see the one on the top is shinier because it's been pushed around the river for probably longer than the one that I found with the metal detector on the shore. Okay, shore on top, river on bottom. That evened them out a little bit. Again, you can see how shiny the stuff is from the river compared to the stuff I'm finding on the shore. Well, that was a fun and surprisingly good day. I'm definitely going back to that spot, but I have a winter wetsuit coming this week. So I'm really excited to get back out to the river and do some more gold sniping in the winter time with my new wetsuit. I'm really anxious to see how well that wetsuit is gonna work. And hopefully I'll be able to stay warm. So that's gonna be my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna leave you with two videos. This one is the last time I went gold sniping, and this one is the last time I worked the bedrock on the shoreline. See you guys next time.